Back to Paul here. We've got some stuff going on with her throat, with swelling, had an allergic reaction, severe, that was in the emergency room. We're gonna go get this story. Hello. We're gonna start off with the story about what you actually came in for today. Well, what I came in for today is my neck is super sore and I have a swelling right here. And okay. I just thought it was really bizarre in light of all of the various types of ways I've been sick over the yeah. past three weeks. So first I had a sore throat and that lasted five to seven days. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my ears got really congested. Um, I had a lot of nasal congestion as well. I got pink eye. Then I went to see what I could do about my ears and my eyes, and I was prescribed Augmented for an ear infection in my right ear. Then I took the Augmented and had a just a horrible reaction to it. I think it was an allergic reaction, um, where I just got hives all over, my throat started to close up. Uh, and so we went to the ER, they said I was about 15 minutes away from anaphylactic shock. So they gave me epinephrine, uh, Benadryl, Pepsid, and a steroid. Then uh, they told me to keep taking Benadryl over the next few days to prevent my immune system from continuing to freak out. And uh, that I think made me sick because I had a super upset stomach two days later and uh, vomiting, diarrhea. Then I thought I was getting better over the past week or so, but my nose has still been really congested and there's no improvement. And uh, yesterday I woke up with a really sore neck. Okay. And it's sore on both sides? Yeah, it is. I can't really move my head at all. Can you turn to the one side? All the way, look over here. <laughs> that hurts where? Here. I on just, that side? I, How it, about looking the other way? Where does that hurt? It, it hurts there? Yeah. How about looking down, all the way down forward? Where does that hurt? Kind of at the base of my skull. It's just the neck feels very stiff. Okay, and look like, up at the ceiling all the way up. Where does that hurt? At the base of my skull. Okay. It's really painful in this area. Okay. So what I see in here is a gray, almost see-through transparent eardrum. It may have been infected, you know, now that I look at it. But you're getting over it without antibiotics because you took maybe one dose and then had an allergic reaction. Yeah. So you are allergic to penicillin. Did you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. There's no redness, but there's a little bit of sort of dull, thickened eardrums. You've had a lot of ear problems though in the past. Yes. Yeah. I've known you since you were probably about yay big or so. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a funny thought, right? Yeah. Here you are grown in college. It's like, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at your throat. Try the uh. Uh, oh, excellent. And there's a little bit of increased redness. Again. Uh, nice. So on her left tonsil, there's a white collection of something. Say ah. Uh, uh, excellent. One more time. Ah. Uh, okay. So this is something that people get confused about. They'll say, well, my child's always had amoxicillin, never had a reaction. And now you're trying to tell me they're allergic to penicillin, for example. You can develop an allergic response to anything at any time that you might have been fine with before. Mm -hmm. And had you never had amoxicillin, I would have agreed with that theory that your very first exposure to something, you don't have this wham. Mm -hmm. your, your immune system has to get primed right. and ready. And that's what was happened. From your previous exposure to amoxicillin, your allergic, the IgE arm of your allergy immune system was ready. Mm -hmm. and you had that augment and it was like, bam. That's my best guess. Okay. Yeah. And I'm pretty confident it was actually a real allergic, allergic reaction to penicillin or amoxicillin. Okay. Yeah, augmentin is a combination of amoxicillin and clavulinic acid. So it's amoxicillin, which is a illin. Don't ever take any <laughs> illin, right? I guess. Yeah, anytime you're asked about allergies to penicillin, bicillin, amoxicillin, uh, oxicillin, <laughs> any illin, you don't do it. All right, so I want to feel these nodes. It starts there. I can feel a, a lump that goes up to about here. You can kind of, if I push down, you can sort of make out. There's a little swelling right there. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. And then back here, you got one there a little bit. The hurt? Yeah, it's all very tender. Okay, other side, I'll have you look that way just a little bit. You can feel one right there. You can kind of get a sense of fullness right here. That sore? Yes. 
and then back here we've got a little one there. That's really soy. Yeah, that one yeah. is the most tender. Yeah. So these nodes are all about garbanzo bean size. Mm -hmm. You know, one centimeter, maybe a centimeter and a half. But they're exquisitely tender. So for our viewers, what do we call that? Tenderitis. Lymphadenitis. <laughs> all right. That's why you're the cameraman. Correct. <laughs> Okay, so you have a very sore throat. We call that? Sore throatitis. No, pharyngitis. This guy, he's, he's learning, he's slow. <laughs> We've swabbed her throat. We're gonna find out, in fact, if you have strep throat, I think I better have my results right here. Blood work? Well, the strep was negative. The strep was negative. A CBC and a mono. A CBC and a mono, okay. So for the viewers, this throat was only minimally red, and this story was more than strep throat. So we're gonna make sure we're not missing mono, and I'm also gonna get a CBC complete blood count, so we'll fill you in when we get those. <laughs> I gotta go, this is terrible. Glad I'm not famous, because I don't wanna ever have any cap put a camera in my face. Wanted to be I know, your face, your face is out. Is this is just this, I'm just filming I, this. I don't even like that. Just don't screw up, okay? <laughs> Uh, We're just gonna like this. We're gonna put a couple of drops in here. This is the mono test. Feels feels interesting. Okay. Like you want more of it in general? It's, it's enjoyable for its difference. Okay, it would have been great if it was just straightforward, wouldn't it? So it wasn't mono, that's actually good. Mono is no fun. Epstein-Barr virus is a nasty virus. You can be fatigued for months, sometimes years. Well, I wanted to show you, so you don't have mono, you don't have strep, but uh, here's your white count. Uh -huh. 14,600 normal is four to 10. Uh -huh. Maybe to 12, but 14 is definitely elevated. Then we look at something called lymphocytes and granulocytes. The lymphocytes are generally high when you have viral illness, uh -huh. and yours were low. You'll see it's 15 okay. percent. This is a percentage. Okay. It should be 16 to 51. So okay. it's definitely low. And your granulocytes are on the high side. I mean, the normal can be all over the place, but this tends to tell you it's not viral. It might be bacterial. Okay. If it was mono, that's a virus but it's not, that's good. We know it's not group A beta hemolytic strep. We swabbed the throat, but you have, viewers, lymphadenitis. Throatinitis. Lymphadenitis, that's usually bacterial. College girlitis. <sighs> uh, <laughs> so this requires an antibiotic. Okay. And don't worry, we're not gonna give you No antibiotics. illins. No illins. What are you allergic to? No illins. All the illins. All the illins. Penicillin is what you should say. Okay. Yeah. And all the illins, you said. And all the illins. <laughs> all right. So uh, to cover staph and strep, which are the most common causes of lymphadenitis, we're going to either pick cephalexin or trimethoprim sulfa. In this part of the world, if it's staph, trimethoprim sulfa is better, but it's not quite as safe as cephalexin as far as rare complications. So we're going to start with cephalexin in this case. So folks, there you have it. The most delightful patient I've had in a very long time. <laughs> and um, we've got a case of lymphadenitis, pharyngitis. It does not appear to be mono. And we're going to get better. Right? Right. Do you have any advice for your millions of fans on YouTube? Deal with everything with laughter. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. I People like it. laugh at yourself. I like it. All right, you got that from your mom, didn't you? Yes. That's from your mom. <laughs>